call option gives the holder the right to buy something. The same is true for a cryptocurrency call option. When a call option expires, its value will be equal to any amount over the strike price that the underlying price is. Again, this is true for cryptocurrency call options, so why do we have a separate lecture for calculating the profit or loss of cryptocurrency call options? The reason is that while the profit or loss is still calculated in dollars, the cryptocurrency options on Deribit use the cryptocurrency itself as collateral. This means that after calculating how many dollars the call option is worth at expiry, this amount must then be converted into the cryptocurrency. The premium paid for the option is also set in cryptocurrency. So when calculating the profit, we need to subtract the amount of cryptocurrency paid for the option from the amount of cryptocurrency received. For this lecture, we will be using Bitcoin specifically as the cryptocurrency, but this applies equally to the Ethereum contracts or any other contract that uses the asset itself as collateral. Example 1. Suppose Bitcoin is currently trading at a price of $11,000. We expect the price to increase, so we purchase a Bitcoin call option with a strike price of $12,000. The price of this call option is 0 0.05 BTC. That's 5% of a Bitcoin. At expiry, the price of Bitcoin has indeed increased to $15,000. And we would like to calculate what our profit is. Remember, the balances and profits are paid in Bitcoin, so our end result will be an amount of Bitcoin that we have made. The first step is exactly the same as the steps we took in Lecture 3.3, where we calculated the profit or loss of options that use dollars as collateral. We first calculate how much the option is worth in dollars at expiry. The price of Bitcoin at expiry is $15,000, and the strike price is $12,000. So to calculate the value of the option in dollars, we subtract the strike price from the underlying price. $15,000 minus $12,000 equals $3,000. The option is therefore worth $3,000 at expiry. So, how much is this in Bitcoin? We know the current price of Bitcoin is now $15,000. So, $3,000 has a value of 0 0.2 BTC. This is calculated as 3,000 divided by 15,000 which equals 0 0.2. This means that when the option expires, we will receive 0 0.2 BTC into our account. There is one more step before we know our total profit and loss for the trade. We need to subtract the premium we paid. We initially paid a premium of 0 0.05 BTC for this option. So our profit or loss can be calculated as 0 0.2 minus 0 0.05, which equals 0 0.15 BTC. That's it. Our profit on this call option is 0 0.15 Bitcoin. Before we work through some more examples, it's worth expressing this process as a general formula. As with our calculations from section 3, if the call option expires out of the money, that is, the underlying price is below the strike price at expiry, then the buyer's loss is equal to the premium paid for the option. If the underlying price is above the strike price though, then we calculate the profit or loss in Bitcoin using this formula. And of course, any profit for the buyer is a loss for the seller, and vice versa. So the formulas for the seller's profit or loss are the negative of the formulas for the buyer's profit or loss. Armed with these formulas, let's tackle a few more calculation examples. Example 2. Suppose Bitcoin is currently trading at a price of $14,500. We expect the price to increase, so we purchase a Bitcoin call option with a strike price of $15,000. The price of this call option is 0 0.08 BTC. At expiry, the price of Bitcoin has indeed increased to $20,000. And we would like to calculate what our profit or loss is. The Bitcoin price of $20,000 is above the strike price of $15,000, so the option has some value, and we can use the formula in the top row of the table. This gives us the Bitcoin price minus the strike price divided by the Bitcoin price and then minus the option price or premium. This equals 20,000 minus 15,000 divided by 20,000 and then minus 0 0.08.
which equals 0 0.25 minus 0 0.08, which equals 0 0.17. This long call option position therefore made a profit of 0 0.17 BTC. Example 3. Suppose Bitcoin is currently trading at a price of $14,000. We expect the price to increase, so we purchase a Bitcoin call option with a strike price of $15,000. The price of this call option is 0 0.075 BTC. At expiry, the price of Bitcoin has indeed increased to $16,000, and we would like to calculate what our profit or loss is. The Bitcoin price of $16,000 is above the strike price of $15,000, so the option has some value, and we can use the formula in the top row again. This time it gives us 16,000 minus 15,000 divided by 16,000, and then minus 0 0.075, which equals 0 0.0625 minus 0 0.075. This gives us negative 0 0.0125. This long call option position therefore made a loss of 0 0.0125 BTC. Notice this time that the price still moved in the desired direction, and the option did have some value at expiry. However, this value was not large enough to make up for the premium paid for the option. This resulted in a small loss. This highlights why it is not enough for the underlying price to simply move above the strike price. For the call option to make a profit at expiry, price needs to move far enough to compensate for the premium paid, in other words, to the break-even point, which we will calculate later in section 4. Example 4. Suppose Bitcoin is currently trading at a price of $14,800. This time we expect the price to stop increasing, so we sell a Bitcoin call option with a strike price of $16,000. The premium we collect for this call option is 0 0.1 BTC, at expiry, the price of Bitcoin has actually increased to $18,000, and we would like to calculate what our profit or loss is. The Bitcoin price of $18,000 is above the strike price of $16,000, so the option has some value, and we can use the formula in the top row again. But we are the seller this time, so it's the seller formula that we use. This gives us the option price, or premium, minus the Bitcoin price minus the strike price divided by the Bitcoin price, which equals 0 0.1 minus 18,000 minus 16,000 divided by 18,000, which equals 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1111, rounded to four decimal places here. This equals negative 0 0.0111. This short call position therefore made a loss of 0 0.0111 BTC. Example 5. Suppose Bitcoin is currently trading at a price of $10,500. We expect the price to stop increasing, so we sell a Bitcoin call option with a strike price of $11,000. The premium we collect for this call is 0 0.09 BTC. At expiry, the price of Bitcoin has decreased slightly to $10,400, and we would like to calculate what our profit or loss is. The Bitcoin price of $10,400 is below the strike price of $11,000, so the option has no value, and we can use the simple formula in the bottom row. Our profit or loss is simply the premium we collected, or 0 0.09. This short call position therefore made a profit of 0.09 BTC. Example 6. Suppose Bitcoin is currently trading at a price of $9,000. We expect the price to increase, so we purchase a Bitcoin call option with a strike price of $10,000. The price of this call option is 0.08 BTC. At expiry, the price of Bitcoin has decreased to $5,000, and we would like to calculate what our profit or loss is. The Bitcoin price of $5,000 is below the strike price of $10,000, so the option has no value, and we can use the formula in the bottom row, which is minus premium, which equals minus 0 0.08. This long call option position therefore made a loss of 0 0.08 BTC. It doesn't matter that the price of Bitcoin fell way below our chosen strike price of $10,000, the maximum a long call option position can lose is the premium paid.
This lecture should serve as a useful reference for checking how these calculations are made. You may wish to come back to it when we're working through more examples later in the course, or when you're calculating the profit or loss of your own option positions. While it is useful to know how to do these calculations yourself, once you're trading live, you're unlikely to want or need to do these calculations by hand every time. Thankfully, you don't have to. A simple spreadsheet or handy tool like the Deribit Position Builder will do these calculations for you, and even show you the possible profit or loss at every price point. By plotting these P&L charts rather than manually calculating how much a position would make at various underlying price points, you can see at a glance exactly where your position makes a profit or loss and how much. This is particularly useful when we come on to multi-leg option positions later. As we mentioned in example 3, it is also useful to know at what underlying price a cryptocurrency call option will break even. The next lecture will explain this.